the heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier, has just been introduced. He's coming up. Muhammad Ali is putting on his act. That's his act. Let me at him. Let me at him. You can see nothing changes. Not with Muhammad Ali. Joe, Joe is just looking over at him and grinning. Crowd boos Joe and cheers Joe. And Joe does his thing his way. Muhammad does his thing his way. The scene speaks for itself. And it's as if Floyd Patterson were no longer here. The act by Ali could be better than the fight that we're waiting for. And the crowd loves it. This is the place in the very same ring where Ali and Frazier came to grips, where Frazier won the decision, but took such terrible punishment. And there's Floyd. That's Angelo Dundee, putting the mouthpiece into Ali's mouth. Angie Dundee, perhaps the shrewdest man in all of boxing, and how to train a fighter, prepare a fighter. Identify them readily. Both men have on the same color trunks. Therefore, uh, we're going to ask one of them to make a change. Well, you heard the public address announcer. Each fighter has on the same pair of trunks, and Ali refused to change his, so Floyd would have to change his. Both fighters, both of these men believe that they of themselves and their talents is sufficient to identify them. The trunks will not be changed, and we don't need them changed. Ali is wearing white shoes, and Patterson, Patterson is wearing black shoes. So it's a lot of ado about nothing. Let's get this fight started. As we await the start of this fight, Patterson has a motivation. After Ali tortured him in November of 65 in Las Vegas, Ali said on television that he carried Patterson. Patterson, who fought that night with a sacroiliac condition, his trainer then, Al Silvani, had to keep stretching his back between rounds. It was a terrible sight to see. Patterson, who's a prideful man, insists that nobody ever carried him, and he wants to prove something to our lead in it. The bell for round one. Ali in the white shoes, Patterson in the black shoes. The two fighters dancing, Patterson in the old familiar peekaboo style. In his early years, it was effective. In his later years, it was ineffective. Everybody getting to him, nearly everybody knocking him down, even fighters like Pete Rademacher and Tom McNeely. First round action, Ali dancing, circling mainly to the left, as is always his wont. How much Patterson has come back, we'll have to wait and see. There was a time when Floyd was as punishing a puncher as you could want to see. Nobody ever hit a man harder than Patterson hit Ingemar Johansson in the fifth round on June 20, 1960, in the old polo grounds. A left hook that caused Ingemar to lie there prostrate blood coming out of the mouth from the capillary vessels, the right leg twitching. Remember the scene. But that was Patterson many years ago. Ali trying to get the left in there. Oh, 
Patterson caught that quick left on his gloves. That left got to Patterson's head. We've got less than a minute and a half left in round one. The two fighters dancing, the crowd saying, come on, fight. Ali with a nearly 30 pound weight edge, 29 and a half pounds to be exact. One minute left in round one. Sparse action. Crowd yelled as Patterson threw a left that Ali calmly picked off on his right glove. Patterson leading with the left. 30 seconds left in round one. And Ali doing nothing in this round. Nothing whatsoever. Patterson at least throwing some punches. <laughs> We're close to the end of round one. The second's ticking out. And one has to wonder what Ali's purpose is. The end of round one. The bell for round two. Patterson, the black shoes. Ali, the white shoes. Let's see if Ali begins to fight it all. Ali's put in two left since this round started. That long quick left that scored so mightily against every man he's fought, even Frazier. That left of Ali's got in there again, beating Patterson to the punch. He's got a big weight advantage, a big reach advantage. A wild Patterson swing, as in the old days at the Eastern Parkway Arena. Smacking of amateurism. Can't do that. Lloyd always got into that leap. We've gone past a minute in round two. Pretended that it was below the belt and put on a little smile. Minute 30 gone in round two. In all the pre-fight buildup, Ali took great pains to be nice to Patterson, call him his friend, take him up to his training camp. He even lets Floyd call him Clay. Crowd yelled, but Patterson did not land the punch. Try to right, lead in the left, neither punch landed. Meanwhile, Ali has scored with his left in this round, but not heavily. Still seems to be just playing. You never can tell what Ali's doing. I've been around him for so many years now, and I never know. Thirty seconds left in round two. Floyd got that right in. Just over Ali's kidneys. Ten seconds left in the second round. The end of round two. And the crowd continues to boo Ali as we follow Floyd Patterson to his corner. I just asked Angie Dundee what's going on. He said, you got all the action, Howard, whatever that means. 
Certainly Muhammad's not providing it up to this point. What's going on, Angie? This was just two field out rounds. And he's picking his guys apart and seeing what the guy's going to do. He's seeing the guy's combination under and over. And he's, going to, he's going to pick them apart with those combinations of his own. That's Angelo Dundee talking. We deliberately put him on. Muhammad's trainer giving you what Muhammad was doing as he sees it. Oh, how the crowd is moving for Patterson. But in fact, Floyd is fighting, I'll say that. He's trying. We're one minute into round three. Ali had been scoring steadily. You heard Dundee explain it. One thing Patterson is not, and that's afraid. Less than a minute and a half to go in the third round. Patterson trying to force the action. Patterson with the crowd behind him. Come on, Mohammed. Patterson risking the Ali left. One minute to go in round three. Angie Dundee has a mic. There he goes. There we go. There he goes. Come on. That's it. That's it. Go. Go. Don't let him get away. Come out of there. Don't let him get away. Come out of there. Don't let him get away. Oh, if you want to take that out, I'll suspend you. How do you tell you out of your nothing? I'll suspend you. Now you can take what I do. Only 20 seconds to go now in round three. You see those punches of Floyd's do not get in. They're blocked by Ali's arms and gloves, though they excite the crowd that's at a distance from the ring. The end of round three. The bell for the start of round four. Floyd Patterson, the only man ever to have recaptured the heavyweight title. You remember the three-bout series with Ingemayo Hudson. Nearly 38 years of age now, he first won the title Back on November 30th, 1956, in Chicago against Archie Moore. There's Muhammad with more tricks. His hands down in front of his stomach, challenging Patterson. You see that. Putting on some kind of game. He put on a game against Frazier in the garden and it cost him heavily. All Ali is doing here is getting the crowd more and more with Battis. Let me see what Angelo Dundee has to say about this. Angie, what is, the, what is Ali trying to do there? Why all the tricks in the games? Well, you're just watching artistry, Howard, and you can't appreciate it. That's a cop-out, Angie, if I ever heard one. And Dundee grins. He's not happy with what's happening. We've got a minute and 30 seconds left in the fourth round. See the way Ali puts the left in when he wants? See that? Now Ali has a bandage loose, as happened in the quarry fight. McCanny, Arthur McCanny, the referee, will be watching that bandage to see if it's in the way or doing any damage. Ali is re scoring repeatedly with jabs now. The crowd yelling. 
but Patterson only hitting Ali's gloves. There's McCanny taking off the bandage. We've got 35 seconds left in round four. And a quick reminder, Monday Night Football picks up again on Monday night with the Kansas City Chiefs against the New Orleans Saints. And the Chiefs got to be a hungry ball club, a preseason favorite for the Super Bowl. They were beaten by a brilliant Miami team in their opening game last Sunday. They'll be out to make amends against a young New Orleans team with Archie Manning. This round is almost over. Floyd did connect there, and the crowd loves it. The end of round four. There's Muhammad Ali. Now they're telling him to get in there and fight. On two occasions, we brought you Angelo Dundee. The first time, he was explaining Ali's strategy in that round. The next time, well, let's look in slow-mo right here at some of the action in round four. The right and the left both missed. The right was over the head. That right is the one that connected. It did not hurt Ali, but it was Patterson trying to force the action. Earlier in the round, Ali did all the damage with Jazz. Had enough. The problem is they have no control over the fighter. They want him to fight. He's come out more aggressively this round. Madison back with an attempted left. See, those blows connect. Not because Ali threw them, but because they connected. That right of Patterson. Madison connected again. Madison is really up for this fight. We're a minute into round five. And quick to take advantage of Ali there. And now it's no fluke. Patterson's making a good fight of this fight. If Ali's been playing around, he's in a position to be sorry. He seems listless. He hasn't used the ring. He has not been using his combinations effectively. And Patterson is absolutely unafraid of him. And Patterson is a man 37 going on 38, 30 pounds lighter. So give Floyd credit. We have just about a minute left for the bell in round five. And Patterson is making this crowd very happy. I am not saying he is winning this fight, but he is performing well. We've got a half minute left. We've got a vocal fan behind us who's one of the Ali haters. And he just said, oh, what I'd give to see Floyd win this fight. And the whole crowd seems to feel that way. One of the most popular men, I think, in the whole history of American sport, Floyd Patterson. Hey! 
the end of the fifth round around six Muhammad Ali in the white shoes Floyd Patterson the black Ali was hurt uh, I mean Patterson was hurt Patterson was hurt right at the start of round six he broke his head he was ready to go down a quick left hit now Ali wants to punish him you see it they are right above us Ali is after him. now let's see if Floyd can get away Floyd is fighting gamely Patterson's left eye is swollen. Patterson is in trouble. His left eye is closing fast. He's swinging wildly with his own left, but missed. Coming at Ali Gainley. This crowd belongs to Floyd Patterson. His left eye is red. It is fiery red, but he is dead game. He is cut. Ali for that brief first 40 seconds of this, the sixth round. His face tightened up. There showed a trace of absolute grimness about it. And he went after Floyd. Now Bundini is saying, don't stop, champ. Patterson was hurt again. Oh, Patterson's left eye is bleeding. The inside corner, just above it, can cause when it's in that position, can cause the flow of blood to go into the eye and cause, of course, trouble sight at the very least. Floyd trying with a right lead. Ali in control, being careful, however. Little more than a minute left in the sixth round. That upper lid, I agree with what Dr. Ferdy Pacheco just said, the upper lid of Patterson's left eye, causing the blood to flow into the eye. Doctors will have to take a look at that. The crowd yelled as Floyd got in a right, fighting desperately, courageously. Oh, a right uppercut by Ali. Oh, he's punishing him now. Mercani is watching this closely. Floyd, who's gone down so many times, refuses to go down before Ali. Floyd Patterson has not gone down. And he's been the most knockdown champion in history. Target practice by Ali is not connecting. He missed a lot of blows. He is not sharp, although he is punishing Patterson terribly in this round. The end of round six. Let's go over to Floyd Patterson's corner, to this game man, 37, going on 38, to the man who's supposed to be so easily knocked down. Let's try and get a look at that eye. No mistake about it, Ali wanted to put Floyd away that round. He did not. He could not. He did not put him down. Ali still may have the cutting texture to his blows, but one must question as we look at him if he can still produce the power that once he had. Never a killing knockout puncher, he nevertheless floored his people. He had Patterson game but helpless. Look at that left eye of Floyd Patterson's. It's almost completely shut. He's fighting half blind. 17,378 people here tonight. A gate of over $500,000. We're in round seven. No, no. No knockdown. A slip. See how quickly Arthur McCanny was in there. The test of a referee. Position, command of the fighters and quickness. Poor Floyd, swinging wildly with his right. Oh. Now he's punishing Floyd. Oh, that left right on that damaged eye. A warning from McKinney to both fighters. Now, Ali is just using that left as he did against Jerry Quarry. 
the one fight in his comeback since Frazier where Ali really looked good against Jerry Quarry. Minute 45 seconds left in the seventh round. Knock him out. He says fight with one ten. Get him out of here. He says fight with one ten. Get him out of here. Little less than a minute and a half left. Floyd fighting with one eye now. That left flicking in like a snake's tongue. That left of Ali's. Patterson just swinging wildly. But still, Ali has not knocked Patterson down. A minute left in the seventh round. Ali's corner, imploring Ali to knock him out. A right lead by Floyd, got in there, but not strongly. That right got to Patterson's eye. That left by Floyd, what used to be his best punch, the left hook got in there. The left to Ali's nose, and Patterson fights on. Less than a half. Oh, now, the minute Patterson lands a blow, Ali punishes him. You don't like to see it. You really don't. That eye is bleeding again, badly. The doctors are going to have to look at that eye. Look at that left get in against it. It's a, just a mass of blood. The round is almost over. Round seven. The end of round seven. The doctor's going into the ring now. They've got to look at that eye. They've got to. Let's face it, boxing to begin with is a naked, bru brutal sport. There's no need to exceed rational punishment. The doctor is now consulting with Arthur McCanny, the referee. come out are they going to no no they're stopping the fight they're stopping it for the protection of the lad himself I'll be going up into the ring to have a talk with the winner Muhammad Ali and hopefully with the loser Floyd Patters now first we're going to talk with the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world the loser tonight Floyd Patterson What does this mean now, Floyd, after all the years? Does it mean finally retirement? Well, you heard him say that he was giving me a retirement match, so I hope he lives up to it. I can fight him again in 60 or 90 days if anyone will buy the fight, you know. You have to find a promoter that will buy it. The way the fight went tonight, I don't know whether anyone would be interested, but I would like to fight him again just one more time. Uh, last time it was my back, this time it was my cut eye. Do you feel that he's gone back a great deal? No, I think I've come forward a great deal. At age 37. I'll be better next year. Yeah. Floyd, it's been a lot of years. I'm Thank sorry, you. and good luck to you. But I hope you reconsider your decision. Yeah. Thank you, Howard. Floyd Patterson. And in a moment, we'll be talking with Muhammad Ali. Muhammad, what went on in the first couple of rounds? Were you playing around? Well, I thought I would take my time and you might say, please fill him out. Maybe if I lost a round or two, I didn't worry. But uh, I tried to pick it up. He got strong, his timing was good. His body punches, his quick combination was surprising. Being 36, 37 years old, I figured it'd be essential four or five rounds. It was just a promotion and that was all, but it got serious at the beginning of six because I lost about four rounds, I think. Mm-hmm. 
Well, he says that uh, he wants a rematch in 60 to 90 days. Are you going to give him that? Right here in the garden. I have to fight one more time in Johannesburg, South Africa, of all places. And after that, I'd like to come back and give him a shot. I think he deserves it. He's a good fighter. He's done so much for the game. He's a miracle that he's in the shape he's in. A man at that age and working so hard, I think he deserves another shot. Since he got a bad break, he wasn't knocked out. He wasn't really hurt. His eye was just closed. Did uh, he ever uh, hurt you? Twice with a hard left hook, a right punch, and a body punch of all. I know you're very tired, and I don't want to hold you. One last question. He's been knocked down so many times, and yet you couldn't knock him down when you had him helpless. Is there nothing left of your punch? Probably right. Probably I don't have too much punch now. I only have just enough punch to win, to come out unscratched, and always good enough to close his eye or daze him. Just enough to win. Sometime I knock him out, and sometime I don't. Well, what about Joe Frazier? Do you have enough for him then? I have enough to whip him worse than I did last time. Uh, the shape I was in tonight was nothing like I'd be for Joe Frazier. Mm -hmm. All right, one last thing. We're going to show action in round six. Now I'm only taking the time, filling him out, and when I get him, I try to keep him going. But he was good, as you see. You've got to respect moving. his gameness. Right, he kept moving. I'm glad that all the critics said that they said about him because he proved all of them wrong. All right, Mohammed, you're dead tired. You're just dead tired. I want to thank you for well, spending you this amount I'm of time. Dead tired. Why do you have to make those cracks? But I'm dead tired. <laughs> you fella, I wish you was a fighter. I'll straighten you out. <laughs> so long. Excuse me one second. Thank you. Thank you. And as I try to get into the picture here. That's the story from ringside. The fight stopped because of the left slit over Patterson's left eye, the deep slit, the copious flow of blood, the eye shut, Patterson half blinded, and quite properly, I think the action was stopped. This is Howard Cosell at ringside.